Hi, today we will start to discuss about bio-instrumentation. So here we will describe the general components of bio-instruments and uh, understand the mechanism of bio-instruments which converts uh, uh, the detected signals into electrical signals and performance characteristics. So let's first define what are bio-instruments. With bioinstruments are uh, devices for measuring biological information. So um, it would be good to see when the patient went to doctor's office. So this is a modern uh, hospital environment. Uh, when there are a patient, you can see on the back side there are like tools for measuring uh, temperatures, blood pressure measurement, and um, of various a number of instruments which measures uh, vital signs of the patient. So vital signs are those uh, crucial um, biological information which is very important for the integrity of the patient. So for, for example here, the temperature, of course, uh, that's, we write it as a T and Celsius. And the second is a blood pressure which is related to heart function and um, and the, the unit will be milli milli hg and the third is heart rate so or we write it hr or pulse which is the number of heart beats per minute and another is the uh, breathing rate or uh, respiratory rate so we call it rr and this is also the number of breath per minute. And additional signs also, you know that the, um, the oxygen saturation in the uh, blood are important, so that as a percentage. Or uh, blood glucose is also important, which is um, the unit of milligram per deciliter. So for these vital signs, we want to decide whether the patient is uh, having issues with this. So for that, we define sometimes reference range or normal range. So these are the range of values for a physiological measurement in healthy persons so that we can compare these ones with the patient. Here, for example, the amount of creatinine in the blood. So there are certain range of values for a normal range. So we, we, when we measure the patient's creatinine in the blood, we can say it may be abnormally high or abnormally low. So for that, um, this is a reference information, um, normal range of adult vital signs. So here is an example. <clears throat> so heart rate, so the heartbeat is, uh, the normal range is about 60 to 100 beats per minute, we consider it as a normal. <clears throat> and respiratory rate, so the breathing is about 16 to about 20 times per minute as a normal. <clears throat> and systolic blood pressure is supposed to be less than 120 millimilli Hg. If it's higher than 140, we consider there's a, um, a higher blood pressure. And diastolic blood pressure is supposed to be lower than 80 millimeter Hg. And temperature depends on where um, we measure the temperature. So for example, temporal artery is like this range and tympanic temperature, which is uh, uh, the, inside the ear, the tympanic membrane through that is this range and water temperature, rectal temperature, and axillary temperature, so that normal range is a slightly different. And in case of some, <clears throat> why these vital signs are important? Because there's some indications in specific uh, condition. For example, fever and anxiety makes the heart rate high, respiratory rate high, and systolic blood pressure high. And another example, acute myocardial infarction. So myocardial infarction is like a heart attack. So if it's acute, then the heart cannot uh, beat very well. So heart rate 
drops while breathing is to comp is higher to compensate the low oxygen and systolic blood pressure because the, the function is is uh, uh, compromised systolic blood pressure goes to late so like this there are a, a number of conditions another example as a congestive heart failure which means that the heart it's a disease condition that the heart is so weak that uh, it cannot function to meet the body's normal uh, demand and in that case the heart is trying to uh, to heart rate goes up it's higher to compensate the heart rate and respiratory rate is also higher so this is some kind of vital signs why it's important for uh, understanding and measuring vital signs in, and as a first line of a um, uh, assessment for the patient. 